All right, now yesterday the holy city of Jerusalem actually played host to families from all over the world for the first ever Talmud uh, Israelis Chidon competition. And here to tell us all about it is Yair Shulman, the director of Dafiumi for us uh, with Talmud Israeli. Thank you so much for being with us. Now tell us a little bit about this and competition. And what is Chidon? Yes, and what is Chidon? Chidon is a competition. As simple as that. So we hosted a competition yesterday in Jerusalem for families from around the world to come and prove their knowledge, not just in Talmud, but also in Israeli history and, is, and Israel in general. Interesting. So there's an international Bible competition. You guys are basically creating the, the Talmud version, right? So what kind of, um, I guess, information do you know, the, co the competitors have to know to mm. be able to prove how knowledgeable they are? The, the, we gave them a whole bunch of information that they had to learn. It wasn't an open-ended oh. contest. Okay. Okay. So they had to learn about Israeli history, uh, geography in Israel, wow. different Talmudic concepts, people who, people who were in the Talmud, rabbis from a thousand years ago, and they had to get on stage and answer the questions correctly. No way. And are these only Jews, or is it? Can you be from any background and participate? Um, you could be, but only Jewish. Uh, kids and parents participated. Okay, so and now you just mentioned parents, and I'm seeing you know adults and their kids together. Uh, so this was not just like you know a children's sort of competition like we've seen in the past with other competitions. Tell us a little bit about that. One of the main goals of Talmud Israeli is to strengthen the family unit mm -hmm. and build bonds between family members and intergenerational family members, grandparents mm. and grandchildren, parents, siblings, and we offered the competition to children and an adult. It could be a parent, a grandparent, an older sibling, and we had parents, and we had older siblings participate with their younger oh. siblings as There's well. There's nothing like a good competition to bring the family yeah, together. Exactly. So, true. so where were all these families coming from? I'm assuming not just in Israel, right? So, so we had originally over 1,100 families who participated wow. around the world from North America, Europe, and Israel, and the finalists who made it to Jerusalem after the two rounds prior were from Israel and from the United States. Very cool. Wow. Well, the Israelis had a one-up. That's not fair to uh, know maybe. everything about Israeli history. Come on. We don't get to learn all of that stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I bet school. there might have been some surprises. Uh, um, there were, there, were, there weren't really surprises. <laughs> <laughs> too many. But, but, but the Israelis honest. do have the... Um, a little bit of advantage. A little bit of advantage, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, very, very cool. I mean, I think the next step is yeah. to just open this up to people from around the this. world, right? Because you don't necessarily need to be Jewish well, to learn about the Talmud. Other cultures, that, sure. that, that is yeah. true. We have people who aren't Jewish learning Talmud. It's actually a big thing in South Korea, Korea to wow. study Talmud. Oh, well, um, not necessarily so Talmud Israeli, really, but in general Talmud. Talmud is a source of lots of wisdom. It's all of Jewish heritage, Jewish customs and laws. And we believe that by learning more about where we came from and strengthening our connections to our past, we'll also promise and protect our future. All right. Well, yeah, thank yeah. you so much for joining thank us you, again. Yeah. Thank you for having me.